Hello and welcome to Malfa Style Solutions. Today I will show you a quick and easy way to repair your pen drives, flash drives, USB devices and removable devices such as memory cards. I have a flash drive that's not working at the moment so let's go ahead and plug that in and I can show you how to fix it. As you can see Windows tells me you need to format the disk in drive F before we can use it. It asks me do you want to format it so let's go ahead and say yes. Ok so now that we have the format utility let's go ahead and click on start. It gives us a warning just click ok. And Windows says it's unable to format the disk. This is just to show you that the drive is indeed corrupted and we cannot access it. I'm going to show you in a moment how to fix that but I'm just going to go through a few steps to prove that this drive is indeed corrupted and in a faulty state. When we open the device properties we can clearly see that this drive does not have any space allocated to it. It has zero bytes capacity but at least we can see the drive if. At the end of the video I will show you how to allocate that drive if it went missing as well. Ok so next I'm going to show you that formatting the drive with command prompt doesn't work either. Let's give it a file system of FAT32. Let's try. Can I determine the number of sectors on the volume? Ok so let's try that with NTFS. No, same thing. Ok that's enough testing for now so let's go ahead and show you how to fix it. The first thing we need to do is download the Malfa style repair disk application. I will post the download link in the description below. Now that we have that, if we inserted the pen drive after opening the application, we need to press the refresh list button to populate the drop down box with all the devices. Now that we have all the devices in the list, let's go ahead and select the one we want to fix. This is the most important step as selecting the wrong device may result in losing your data when you press the repair device button. I will go ahead and select the verbatim USB device as this is the one I want to repair. Selecting a device from the device list will result in the parameters being loaded such as drive letter, type, model, serial number, you get your vendor ID and product ID that's very important. You have your interface USB and you have your drive capacity. I know this one is correct as my capacity is 7.3 gigabytes and that's the one I want. I will explain this in a moment but the get device software and software dictionary options is not needed for most users and can be left alone. What we need to do is make sure we have the correct device selected and then press the repair device button. Pressing the repair device button will bring up a message that displays the selected device and the size of the device. We need to click OK to begin the procedure. Now all we need to do is sit back, relax and watch the magic happen. As you can see the repair process is very fast. Almost immediately the Windows Autoplay launches and the size allocated to our disk. Let's go ahead and click on open folder to view files. Just to be sure let's create a new text file. As you can see we can now access the disk and everything is perfect. All the factory settings is now restored and this is like a brand new disk drive.
This time when we go to properties, we can see there's space allocated to the drive and everything looks perfect. Like I said earlier, the Get Device software and software dictionary options is not needed for most users, but some hardware devices may require additional drivers and software. If you are indeed one of those unlucky winners, we've provided you with a way to get your device software easily. All you need to do is select your software dictionary. Any one of those two options will work. I prefer the flash boot option. Just select one and press the Get Device Software button. This application has a built-in web browser that will perform a search using your vendor ID and product ID of the removable media. You don't have to use this method, you can go directly to the manufacturer's site or use your own browser. This is just for convenience but I will show you how it works. Ok, we've selected our dictionary, let's go ahead and press the button. An important note, ensure to look at the size, flash model and chip vendor columns before downloading. To go to the application again, simply press the back button. As you can see, we auto populated the vendor ID and product ID and performed the search for you. This website address will also be in the description if you want to use your own browser. All that's left to do now is to look at the chip vendor and the size columns. Scroll down and if there's a utility for it, download that. Using Google is exactly the same. Select Google and press the button. And we will perform a search using your product ID and vendor ID. All you need to do is look at the chip vendor and the size of the device and download your software. As promised, when your computer picks up your device but not recognizes it, I'm going to show you how to resolve that. Ok, so I've inserted my device and I get the message that it's not recognized. What we need to do is go to Start, right click on Computer and select Properties. Next we need to click on Device Manager to open that. Normally your flash drive should be displayed under disk drives, but when it's not there you know something's wrong. Scroll down until you see Universal Serial Bus Controllers. Just underneath that look for unknown devices. When you have more than one you can verify by removing that device and see if it disappears. Plug the device back in, right click on it and select Uninstall. Now you want to restart the computer so that Windows can reinstall the drivers. As always thanks for watching, I hope you found this useful. Please comment below if you need any help or further assistance. Please subscribe to see more of our videos and any questions and topics are welcome.